Our struggle is against the spiritual forces of evil. Ephesians chapter 6. It is written in Psalm 83. The enemies have taken crafty counsel against your people. Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. In August 2020, the Byzantine Catholic Patriarchate called on you, Christians of the United States, to mobilize in prayer. You, the Christians of the United States, who have already established prayer groups and set up guards to watch in constant prayer, have become the foundation of spiritual restoration, resurrection. You, dear believers, who have not yet joined in because no one has involved you in the prayer watches, don't wait any longer today after the presidential election. Begin by making a commitment to prayer. Make a promise to God specifically of one hour of prayer a day, best joining together across the country from 8 to 9 p.m. Apart from that, pray your one hour prayer watch at a chosen hour for one week in a month. Those who are zealous can have a rhythm of prayer watches every other week. Don't wait and start. The spiritual struggle is escalating. Every warrior counts. God wants to speak. He wants to awaken prophets, witnesses, disciples, apologists, evangelists. But the condition is to enter into a living union with Him, especially in personal or family prayer. God will work miracles in your life and in your nation. He is looking for those who will persevere in prayer. He is waiting for you too. Today, if you will hear His voice, do not harden your hearts. Start praying today. God is with us, but we must be with Him. Then we will win. The servants of darkness and death have a hundred options for trapping the righteous. But God has thousands of ways to catch them in their own traps. 
They have prepared a net for my steps. They have dug a pit before me. Into the midst of it they themselves have fallen. Psalm 57 Americans, don't delay, but start. It's a fight to the death. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for He shall pluck my feet out of the net. Psalm 25 Brother and sister, promise God one hour of prayer a day. And God will save your nation from the net through you.